Well, great morning, everyone. I think this morning I want to pull cards and see what is Trump's end point going to be. What is his end point going to be? I'm going to use my Lenormand to begin with. So above it all, we have, ooh, his cross to bear, okay? Uh, his end point is not going to be good. He, you know, yeah, what can you say? <laughs> it, I'm being crucified. They're killing me, you know. So let's see what we have at the center of it all. He's toxic. He's a snake. Okay? <coughs> He's toxic. He's a snake. And so, yeah, you get your just desserts. Karma is coming back because of what's crossing it, his life path, what he's done in life. Okay? Underneath of it is the history of his divergent ways, okay? So, yeah, it's not going to bode well for him the last part of his life. Now, you know, what I've observed in life is either you have a really bad, bad, bad early life, or you have a bad, bad, bad end of life, a secondary part of life. But in some part of life, you are going to have heavy challenges, um, things to, to look at, to rectify, to come to terms with. And so his is now coming due end of life, the latter part of his life. But this is all through his own hand, his own mental state, his own drama, what he's done for the whole of his life. He's got to find out that life has consequences, okay? You can't buy your way out of everything. You can't bully your way out of everything. You can't bamboozle and... and uh, buffoon everybody out of everything. So let's see what we have in the past. I Excuse me, I'm looking at the timer, <laughs> my coffee. <laughs> I just got a French press. There, there it is, it's done. So I'm going to Take a quick break here, get my coffee, and I'll come back and we'll start up where we left off here. Okay, continuing on now that all's right with the world that I have coffee in hand, we're going to look at his past. The light is dawning on the past. So what's coming up is the time. You know, the clock is ticking as it does with all of us. <clears throat> Above it, we have the whole bouquet. Now, when I get the bouquet of flowers, don't necessarily see something that is beautiful and exciting and wonderful. I see that it has a lot of elements to it. Lots of pieces, all these things coming together. <clears throat> okay, so the foundation is his attempts to control and bully through what People he can bamboozle, friends, um, which are not really friends as such. I don't think he's ever had a real friend. These are people that will look away from his bullying because they think they've gotten something out of it. But they soon find out that he is loyal only to one himself, and you're only as good as you are, you know, providing him with something, and when you lose your cachet on that point, you're done. You're out of there. You're, you're ground up and thrown out. 
okay? The challenge is what's under the surface, okay? He uses the surface to BS everyone, okay? But now the challenge is what's under there. It is coming up now to be seen for what it is. The outcome that's anchored in, it's not going to go away. He cannot BS his way out of this, okay? So above it, we have the community. And this is at an end point for him. And there are those that are going to be moving out. Those that are seeing the light of day, they are exiting. The so-called friends are all exiting, okay? His is at his... Okay, because you put these together, they are now on the move, on the way out. The tables have turned on him. He does not have enough cachet for them, you know, so now they are turning the tables on him. His ability to control has come to an end point, okay? He's finished. Why? Because of his toxic history, the things he's done in life, <clears throat> his life path. The light is dawning and being anchored in. The time has come that they're looking under the surface when it comes to the whole of this community, okay? And he is having to deal with the uh, consequences now. I think a big major thing was also when he's telling the Nikki Haley people, you give a dime to Nikki Haley and you're done at MAGA. Ooh, big threat. Big threat. Oh, we can't come under great leaders' abuse anymore. Okay, people don't like to be threatened. Okay, just a word to the wise. Donald, quacker, Trump, orange messiah of doom and gloom. <laughs> That's what doesn't get me, you know, they, they follow him like lemmings off the off of the the edge of the thing into the water and he's the messiah of doom and gloom i'm the only one and you know your life is misery and you're miserable and it was you know all just absolute fantasy and bs and because they are leading miserable lives and they are unhappy within themselves, they project this onto everybody else and everything else. It's a sad situation. So what, let's see what's over and above all this. Well, it's the star himself, okay? So this is all about 45, the star, okay? <laughs> like the bird out there. <laughs> oh, my Lord. So we're looking at his end-of-life stuff, what's happening here. Okay. So with the star, we have what's happening with Trump. Vulnerability. He's finally... That vulnerability is coming up now, okay? And uh, <clears throat> they've gotten under his skin. They have gotten under his skin now, especially you see who he's attacking. You know, how dare Nikki Haley, I gave her a job, she owes me. The uh, Supreme Court judges I put in, they owe me. Anybody that's ever been given a job or, you know, they owe me. Everybody owes me. Okay. 
Now, at one point, Nikki Haley was the best thing ever. I only hire the best people. And now they're all turning against him. And he is showing that there is a vulnerable because all he does, he's like a cornered animal that's lashing out at everything and everybody that comes near him. That's not, oh, Donnie, you're just the most fabulous guy in the world. Oh, orange Jesus of doom and gloom. <laughs> oh, Lord. So at the center of it, we have his fantasy. Vulnerable. I'm telling you, he's got dementia. And I've said this, you know, going in a long time ago, he's going to have dementia. He is, you know, on the roller coaster downhill. He's in fantasy. He's in confusion. He's not in reality so many times, okay? So what's crossing it is the message about the action he's going to do and what's underneath is where this is moving to, okay? Yeah, where this is moving to. So in the past, we have his toxicity and the people he's got chained to himself because of his lies and spin. And like I said, the Messiah of doom and gloom. <clears throat> and so that brings him up to these attempted manipulations that he's done with everyone. Okay. His toxic manipulations have him where he's dealing with the rest of his life. You can't get away from it, karma. You cannot get away from the higher elements. And this is all coming up now. These are all major arcana, okay? His toxicity, his manipulation has brought the karma to his feet, okay? Uh, again, here we have the foundation, his rulership. He is ruled by the things he has done. There he is, all major arcana, and his downfall is imminent. All major arcana. I've never seen this before. That five cards are all major arcana. Okay. So, yes, <clears throat> This is, you know, his undoing because of the past. This is what he's bringing in now. Okay, the challenge is, yeah. He's, he is absolutely inundated, cannot think, having nightmares, paranoid, uh, fearful. He is, like I said, mentally unfit because of the message of the monetary stuff that's coming down as well, okay? <clears throat> yeah, he's facing loss, the loss of his business, the loss of the ability to do any business in New York. He's going to get hit with a huge, huge thing with the E. Jean Carroll thing. He cannot manipulate his way out of this. And so this is now causing his vulnerability of the mental state. Okay, he's out in the cold. Okay, he is absolutely fearful because he's not a good businessman. And because the end of this thing, you know, no one will do business with him any longer. He's out in the cold when it comes to being able to work anything. Okay, and this is hitting him big time in the emotions, okay, his emotions, and he's going to blame, of course, the DOJ, etc., Biden, whoever, okay, <clears throat> so we're going to tear this down, you know, <clears throat> underneath of it all, we have Trump, and then we have the DOJ, or we have this emotions, or we have Trump versus the Biden, the way he is, you know, two opposite spectrums going here on the outside of it. 
so what we have with it um, financially and in a grounded way, oh, now we got to start with the major arcana, where this is moving, okay? Where this is moving is that uh, there is karma because of the way he has proceeded, what he's done in his life um, for 45 because of his toxic manipulations, okay? So that's it. It's saying this is moving forward. There is karma, okay? You have done this yourself because of your big self-made man that you've done by toxic elements and manipulation, okay? So this is coming down on your head now. The message is you are out in the cold when it comes to being able to work on anything any longer, okay? You are at nightmare scenario daily. I just see this as depression. <clears throat> this is his mental thing. The woe is me, the poor me saga uh, doesn't know which way to turn any longer. And he's in fantasy land, okay, when it comes to his emotions, when it comes to being able to deal with anything, okay? Anything on the emotional thing, he's in fantasy land about it. And his message is about what he's going to do, how he's going to move, what's going to take place. Um, he's... he's uh, like I said, he's got dementia as well, Alzheimer's dementia, because he cannot keep things straight. And, of course, you know, being the narcissist that he is, and now this vulnerability is there, and they see that he is not this great big mafia king that he wants to think he is. I'm greater than Al Capone, okay? I'm more powerful than Al Capone because Al Capone only got taken down once they're they're coming at me all so I'm greater than Al Capone when it comes to you know <laughs> <clears throat> but now he's vulnerable the end of his life is absolute vulnerability and he cannot get out of it he is uh he's going down for the count people are leaving okay even some of those that were mega. I mean, the kid that, that he said, I've done more for this in this state than anywhere, and you're escorting me out. What? What? Why? Because he took a picture with Alina Haba, and he put it on his social media so they know she lied about COVID. Okay? So they escorted this kid out. Okay? So on that note, uh, there you have it, the end point, the end point for the orange messiah of doom and gloom and misery. Um, and that's what he trades in, you know, he trades in people's angst and fear and, and uh, misery. Well, now you get to experience fear, anger, misery, and none of your attempted manipulations are going to help you in the least at this point. Donald J. Trump, you have been trumped by karma. <laughs> so on that note, I'll leave that here. We'll see you online.